effective usage of kubectl. If you do kubectl hyphen hyphen help, you're going to look at all of the commands that are available with kubectl. What if you want to do kubectl foo? If you try this on your system, this is not going to work. This is just because I have a plugin installed, yeah, I'm able to execute kubectl foo. What you need to do is you need to set up a path where you're going to save your plugins. The plugins have to be in the executable for your operating system. So my plugins are installed in this particular location. If I go to that location, I should be able to find one plugin that I have installed. And since I'm working on Windows, I have used batch files. If you're working on Linux, you could use shell very well. All right, the next thing that we're going to look at is kubectl plugins documentation. So this documentation has all of the details that I've just showed you. And then especially we're going to look at crew, which is a packaging solution available. So if you scroll towards the end and then look over here at crew, click on this crew, you should be able to get to that page. Then you should be able to go to the quick start guide and follow along what to do. Install crew for your operating system. I'm working on Windows, so I will go ahead and install what is required for Windows. So I've downloaded crew.yaml.exe, set it up into a folder. And then as dictated by the documentation, I've opened up a command prompt and run crew install hyphen hyphen manifest equals to crew.yaml. That goes ahead and installs crew for you. So in your user's profile directory, you're going to find dot crew folder. So what you need to do is you need to add dot crew slash bin into your path. And that's it. You're ready to use crew. So to test that everything has been done right, you could go ahead and do kubectl crew. There you go. The installation is successful. Let's go back to the quick start guide and see what's next. There are a couple of commands that you want to execute to make sure the indexes are updated properly. And then you can do a search and look for what are the plugins that are available. The plugin that I want you to use is who hyphen can, who can, and example. I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and list what plugins I've already installed on my machine. The command is kubectl crew list. Next, we will look at who can. So kubectl who can is not a traditional command. It's given to you by the plugin. Over here, you can see kubectl who can create PV. And then we will look at kubectl example and generate some manifest files. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.